Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Radical Red Nuzlocke. I was just making sure I was recording everything properly because I kind of felt like I wasn't. Um, in the last episode, we got through Silphco Deathless, which was kind of crazy. Not going to lie. And I decided to battle Chuck to get this started. Um, I got two different things I want to try doing. I do want to set up a spike if possible because of focus ash hit on top and sneezler it'd be nice to break the focus ash on sneezler um also it's just kind of like good against this team it's pretty solid uh i have pretty good squad for this i'm not gonna go over it completely i'll kind of go through it as it happens i tend to think this battle is not that difficult to be completely honest um all right come on buddy Mirror shot you, your nature is madness. That's fine. Just mirror shot, mirror shot. Okay. Okay, Vial. Uh, mirror shot is really good. It's actually kind of crazy. But in that work. Uh, but yeah, so he leads with Hitmon top. I have Fluffy and Leftovers on my guy. So I think setting up the spike would be best case. Um, and then I do have Bulk up on my my ghost uh annihilate i don't know why i couldn't think of his name for a second uh so i think this will be fine um i'm gonna go for a spike this with a fake out that's expected it's gonna do one damage and we're gonna left over to sit back um he doesn't really have a great answer for this in general so i figured he would switch out just don't know what to goes directly to sneezler um i'm assuming you try to knock off here maybe You, I mean, you could close combat, but I feel like that'd be a bad play. Does he go? He goes for the knockoff. That's fine. Knocks off the lefties. I'm out of water. That's not that's good. Should have filled that before I started this. Training kiss. We get a crit, which is kind of nice. Um, He could close combat here if he does that, though. Switches out. Okay. This is a free. Goes into Lucario. Um, Close combat. Extreme speed meteor mash. I have an answer for this. It is my Sunny. Because I have Will O Wisp, but I also have Bitter Blade, which I think I just go for. You go for the bulk up. I mean, burning you might be better. I don't know how much damage this is going to do to you. I'm going to go for the Will O Wisp. You swap out. Something's getting Will O Wisp. Unless it's Quaco. Yeah, Quaco Ball. I was worried, but uh, good thing I didn't go for the Bitter Blade there. will wisp is good. Uh, you don't have pretty much anything. You have Aqua stuff to hit me, but I mean, I'm not really that worried about that, honestly. Um, My answer for this is, I guess, also, also? He has the Ice Spinner, but a plus one and burned. I'm not going to take too much from that. I can just start clicking Psychic. Um... The other option, yeah, let's go. So he should go for the Aqua Step here. Aqua Step will raise his speed. He won't bulk up in my face. Yeah, he goes for the Aqua Step. Tank that. He does nothing. And I just click Psychic. I could Leech Seed here and get kind of toxic. I mean, Lumina Crash. I have Lumina Crash. You are faster. You go for the Ice Spinner. I shouldn't do too much. Oh my god, we eat that up. We eat that up. That is crazy. And that just KOs. Um, Assuming. What are you going to? Glade. You do have Night Slash. Uh, Night Slash isn't great for me. Trash Panda is probably my... Eh, what is my best answer for this? This plate. I want a plate. The bulk up would be scary. He should go directly for a Night Slash. There's no way, reason he would go for a bulk up here, I don't think. Go for the bulk up. That's not good. Um, I'm going to Toxic. Because this is terrifying. Okay. Yes, Psycho Cut, Night Slash, Drain Punch. Um, he should go for a Drain Punch. I have Bull Rush on this, so I could switch this guy in. Rage Fist won't do too much, though, at all. Hmm. 
I don't know if he attacks. I don't think he attacks this turn. And if he does, I do have... I do have the... You know, I do have a really good ability. So this is kind of okay. Rage Fist isn't going to do anything to him because he's plus three with the bulk ups. All right. I didn't really prep for this guy too good, but this should be okay. He's going to go for a Drain Punch here. Damn, I'm just worried about this. I'm super worried about this. Um, I got rid of Shadow Sneak on you too, didn't I? Shadow Sneak would have been perfect. Oh, I do have Shadow Sneak. Okay. Okay, we're going to Sunny. We switch this in. He should go for the Drain Punch on this turn, guaranteed. Drain Punch, beautiful. You are low and Shadow Sneak should KO. Oh, you are plus three defense. This might not kill. Oh, thank God. That could have been bad. <laughs> that got a little scared there. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Lucario switches in. Kind of strange. Um, I just go for a Bitter Blade. Meteor Mash. It's going to do nothing. Okay. Still haven't seen the Breloom. He still has a lot of Pokemon left. But we're making some progress now. Got two KOs. Oh, we got three total. Oh, yeah, the Quick Evolve is already dead. Hit him on top. He's probably going to go for the Brutal Swing, but I'm just going to Will O Wisp. Brutal Swing won't be doing too much. Should tank that. And I think here is when I go into my Annihilate and just click Bulk Up. And it should be over. Should be. Uh, the Breloom is a little scary, but Real Swing is going to do nothing. And he's just going to boost my Rage Fist at this point. Um, go for a bulk up. Yep. Perfect. Triple Axle, that is legitimately the worst thing you could have done. Because now my Rage Fist is super strong. Does it tell me how strong the moves are? Um, base 200 power right now. We just go for the Rage Fist. Nothing he has KOs me. Uh, Spore on the Breloom could be a problem. But Breloom, I mean, he only has Rock Slide to hit me, so I literally could stay on that forever. And just Rage Fist over and over again. I don't know. Breloom's slow as heck, too, so I'm not even scared about it being, you know, faster than me or anything. Get the knockoff. Fine. It's fine. Go for the Rage Fist. This guaranteed kills. Nice. And the last is the Breloom, who I hope I outspeed and KO. I really don't know how fast Annihilate is. Nice. All right, cool. GG. Uh, so beating this battle gives me a Pokemon to pick and also the TM for Drain Punch. I think it gives me something else good, too. I think it's like the Focus Dash, maybe? What do you got? Drain Punch TM, which is amazing for the Annihilate. Expert Belt, also very good. Cool. And then we got the two Pokemon to pick from. I feel like I gotta go Manaphy, right? Um, I know I've said a million times I have a bunch of really good Pokemon, but... Camera up? I don't think I'm ever gonna want a Camera up. I have Delphox and Moltres with Fire types. Um... And Serilage. I think I have to go Manaphy. It could have a really good ability, too. Let me, uh... Let me see what its ability is. Bad Dreams. Okay, Bad Dreams isn't great, but... It's not the worst. I don't know if Manaphy gets a second ability. I'll check. Might as well, right? Uh, uh, uh. I also forgot I had that Gly, that Gly score in the box when I was building this team. Gly score would have been pretty good, pretty good for this. I don't think so, right? No. Okay. 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 Now is the real moment of truth. Uh, Kanto leaders. We look at Sabrina. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, Sabrina. Lead against Sabrina. I would think Solgaleo. Drizzle could be kind of crazy. Could be kind of crazy. It would make Mystical Fires extremely weak from these two. Or Shadow Ball too, which is a little scary. Um, Tinted Lens, that's kind of nuts. That is kind of crazy. I'm trying to think what I can do to one shot. I mean, if I lead with this and Dark Pulse the MDD, it'll die. Um, and if I use this as a lead with a Steel move, Sun Steel Strike, Sun Steel Ram, whatever. Um, this would kill the Hatterene. So, that's two options. Do I have anything with terrain? I feel like I do. Hadron engine. I have it on, on it. On the middle tank. Uh, Intimidate backs caliper is kind of crazy for the. Uh, it's kind of good for the Brubana and the Ursaluna. Those are both kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Um, both scary Pokemon. Um, Ursaluna. If I can, Encore. Encore is extremely good for that. Hmm. This battle is always scary, man. It is always scary. Screen cleaner doesn't matter. Uh, what do you got? Battle armor. Kamoo has competitive. He doesn't have anything that could like intimidate or anything like that, though. Mm. I mean, this walls the Ursaluna. But I need to be able to, like, KO the Ursaluna. This thing's, like, really good in general for the physical side of things. But they have Ice Beam. They have good special attacks. <sighs> I'm nervous. I mean, if I lead with you... Don't need Manaphy. I can use this to one-shot the Hatterene so he doesn't get the Trick Room set up. And then I can lead with something like Delphox and click Snarl. And Snarl or Mystical Fire is what I meant. Uh, actually, do you get Snarl? If you get Snarl, that'd be a better Pokemon to use. Klefki! Klefki could be good. Uh, let me see your moves. Snarl is a TM, so let's go to my TM case, and it's towards the bottom. You do get Snarl. You both do, actually. Uh, that's kind of crazy. Snarl could actually be good on you. Um, Bulldoze. Ooh, Bulldoze. Bulldoze strats with the competitive uh, Kamoa. That could be kind of crazy. All right, we're going to lead Hydreigon. This is this episode is going to be like 99% prep for this battle. Um, I'm going to give you... I can give you the expert belt that I just got. That could be good. Uh, make you plus special attack. Nature change plus special attack. Let's go modest. Um, so you have Tinted Lines... Snarl is great. I don't think I need Hyper Voice or any of these moves. Just straight up Dragon Pulse could be good over Dragon Breath. Um, what else did you get? Work up. Mm. What TMs? Start from the top. One Pokemon at a time. Bulk up. Toxic. Taunt. Ooh. Taunt's not super necessary. Um, It could be good, actually. Taunt could actually be pretty good. Let's give it a roar. 
Uh, protect is always good in double battles. Give it a crunch. Maybe that's the moveset I run. Can't really do nothing to Brute Bonnet. But that's kind of fine. If I'm leading with these two, I just need to... I could Snarl High Dragon and just one-shot the Hatterene with Sunsteel Strike. Uh, let me Rare Candy him up to level 59. I'm just worried about the next turn. Who do they send in? Noble Roar. That lowers the attack and special attack of another Pokemon. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, let's see. High horsepower, facade. Those are two very scary moves by the Ursaluna. Um, that's right, Jiggy Scott. Pressure. Blastoise, Snow Warning, Immunity on you. Um, Sizzler is pretty good. If I get rid of the terrain, because Bullet Punch could be good for the Gardevoir. It's good for the Gardevoir in general, honestly. Nothing hits it with super effective except for the first two lead, which I'm not going to obviously use them forever. Um, I think you'll be good. You are eh, decent. Intimidate. Intimidate back Scalibur, I think could be clutch. I don't think I need you this battle. And then... Bull Rush. Make you very fast. No, no, I want to bring, I want to bring this to the terrain. Potentially get rid of the terrain could be good. And also, who doesn't want to use a mill tank, right? Who doesn't love a mill tank? All right, let's just level it up, though. Mill tank's just a nice bulky Pokemon in general, so it'll be useful in situations. Um, Captivate's not a bad move. Okay. Okay, okay. The other option is I lead Hydreigon and I like U turn on the Ndidi, get some damage on it. I kill the Hatterene and then I go into Mill Tank to uh, take, take a hit. I'm going to give you the Choppleberry. Uh, because there's close combat from Brute Bonnet, so I kind of want to make sure he doesn't click that. Um, U-turn on him could actually be really good. I mean, if I'm going to U-turn, I might as well lead with Tony then. Get a stab U-turn off. Uh, but I'm going to be slower, and that's not good. I'm going to be slower than the Ndidi. Ndidi's decent. Eh, it's not that fast, but... Quiet nature, Ndidi, level 57. Ndidi, is it male or female? Female, okay. Level 57, quiet nature. 107 speed. 99 on you, if I make you plus speed. Let's see. 108, so I would outspeed it. So I could lead with you, just you turn immediately. Uh, I'm gonna give you leftovers because everybody gets leftovers. Um, I'm gonna give you a. What berry should I go with? Should I go with a Colber berry or knockoff? Probably. Why am I bringing Great Tusk? I mean, I guess this is kind of just a backup for the Ursaluna. I really need to make sure I have an answer for the Gardevoir, though. Like, a really good answer. I mean, I guess this is decent. Um, if that's the case, I want to give you the... What's the ghost one? Do we not have it? The seat. Okay, I don't know why I thought it was something completely different. Um, 
Hatterene is a bulky Pokemon, so I just need to make sure I'm going to KO it. Hatterene, level 57. Are you also quiet nature? Yes. Quiet nature. Uh, the Psychic Seed. Do I have a Psychic Seed? Raises special defense. Okay, so just making sure it doesn't raise its physical defense. Um, and this is a Solgaleo, level 59, with Sun Steel Strike. It KOs, not even invested. So, that always works. Plus defense. Let's make you adamant. Why not? Get as much damage off as possible. All right, so you, we lead, we you turn the Ndidi. We'll be faster, we'll get out, and we will change the terrain with Mill Tank, who is going to be plus special defense, minus special attack. Okay. Uh, you are going to have a different moveset than this. Body Slam, for sure. Give it a Growl. Um, partially lower special attack with Captivate. I don't think I need that. I don't think I need Heal Bell. Oof, your moveset's not that great. I was hoping you'd learn some better stuff, but... I mean, it's pretty much going to be here just to change the terrain. Toxic something. Set a defense curl. Stomp's honestly pretty good. No taunt. Ice beam. Yikes. Um, icy, icy wind's not great. Brick break. Flamethrower's not going to be good because of the rain. So I can't be using that. Mm. Thunder wave? Nah. Dark pulse? Or dragon pulse? Uh, the taunt could be decent for the Porygon. Man, I'm really nervous about this, not gonna lie. I am a little nervous about this. Um, this is just a good Pokemon. I don't mind bringing this. I really don't think there's a necessary reason to bring it. I guess with a Brute Bonnet, it could be good. It does have booster energy, which kind of sucks. But... Leaf Blade's a high crit move, which kind of stinks. I charge a skull crash. All right, you're pretty... I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work out. Um, I don't know why I'm confident this is going to work out, but I kind of am. I don't remember how to do this gym. I kind of always just YOLO it, and it kind of works out. Until this time where it's not going to work out at all. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Dang it. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Uh, I feel like I usually know how to do this. I feel like I'm I blanked. There it is. Okay. Okay. Alright, we lead you, we U turn, we lead with you, and we Sunsteel Strike. Um, and we're just going to play it out and see what happens. I'm really going to hope I don't lose this battle and lose the whole run, but I feel like I didn't prep enough for this, but at the same time, there's so many variables that you can't really prep for it as cleanly as you would prep for like a, a non-double battle, you know? Okay. The rain actually makes me think I could just stay in, but I need to get rid of the rain. I need to get rid of the train. 100%. So we U-turn, you, 
and we Sunsteal Ram you. Should get the KO with this. Hope I did this Calcrite for the speed. Okay, you're gone. We are faster. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that just KOs? Wow. Man, I mean, and it's a stab, super effective move. I just, for some reason, I didn't even calc how much damage I was going to do. Okay, so now, now we got ourselves a question. I do want to just change the terrain. So I'm going to do that. Um, but wow, that was actually kind of crazy. I kind of wasn't even planning on killing it. I didn't really want to. I kind of wanted the Ndidi just sitting on the field, not doing much, but sometimes it's better to just kill the Pokemon. Encore would have been great if the Ursa Luna came out. Double physical attackers? Yes. Okay. I can stay in if I wanted to. Because I should be getting a close combat. Um, I'm going to body slam. And Sunsteel Ram. Brute Bonnet. I'm going to hope it KOs. I knew for a fact he'd protect. Always does. That did nothing. Okay. Um, knockoff from Rubon might kill me. I might lose my Solgaleo here. I'm going to stomp the Brute Bonnet for a flinch chance. And then I am going to cry. Um, intimidate with this would be a big play to weaken both of them. I should He should not close combat to that slot. Chances are I'm going to get a high horsepower or a facade from the Ursa Luna. Um, I'm intimidated and I got plus defense. I mean, I have a great tusk here, but if he goes for the leaf blade, I'm going to be in trouble. I could always get the flinch, but I might get the intimidate. Intim this is kind of risky, but because they do have close combat, I just doubt you would click something to lower his stats in front of, you know what I mean? I just... And if we get the flinch, it saves us so much stress. Knock off this slot. Okay. Okay. Facade. Okay. If Miltank dies here, not even mad at that. I'm not going to lie. I am not mad at that. Um, How do I kill this guy, though? What is the strongest thing I could hit this? I mean, he can't probably one-shot me here. Uh, the Brute Bonnet dies. I have Brick Break on this. I think that's what I do. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to speed up there. I was speeding up between the information. But I'm going to Brick Break you. And I'm going to... Ice Shard, you. Actually, I'm going to Ice Cold Crash on the off chance you decide to switch out for some reason. And then I think this should be okay. You didn't protect, which is kind of crazy. Um, but I have two full HP mons that are decently defensive and you're minus one, but you have guts. But I think I live one thing. Facade. Um, Gardevoir does come out. What do you trace? Do you trace my Intimidate? <gasps> you traced Guts. Okay. Oh my god. I don't know how that worked, but... Um... I am going to Brick Break... Ursaluna. And I am going to Cry, because I don't know what else to do. It's fine. Fine. Scizor should be perfectly fine against Gardevoir. You Mega. If he had Tracy Intimidate, that would have been so bad. 
Brick, brick. Okay, Ursula is gone. Thank. Thank God. Um, trick room here, I'm assuming. Trick room. How fast is quiet Mega Gardevoir? Gardevoir Mega level 59. Quiet nature. 126 speed. So I'm slower than the Gardevoir. Um, I am going to get Hyper Voiced and Ice Beams most likely on this slot. Which means we are in trouble. Um, I'm going to Brick for... Oh, do I Brick Break? I kind of want to go for the Earthquake and just get as much damage as possible off. Let me, let me see what my moves are here. Sword Stance, Bullet Punch. <sighs> One Bullet Punch isn't going to KO. Like, there's no chance. Um, Scizor. Level 59. With... Bullet Punch ability. Does 55 to... Plus two bullet punch kills Gardevoir. So if I sword stance. Oh, I didn't cl I click the wrong move. You thunderbolted me. That's kind of stupid. Unless. <laughs> I forgot to switch my move on the tusk. So I wasted that turn completely with him. That's kind of crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to send you out. I'm going to protect and bullet punch. And then this is just the Porygon left. That's crazy. I mean, I didn't calc it. I just. Okay. Um, I'm going to snarl. And. He's going for what? Thunderbolts. I'm going to go into dummy because he resists Thunderbolt and he resists ice. Beam. Oh, he's neutral to ice beam. Intimidate doesn't matter. Went for the ice beam. Of course he did. Of course he did. Lower your special attack. And it's trick room. Trick room is still active. Um, everything's so weak. I don't think I can. I don't think I can save dummy. I'm gonna just Icicle Crash. I don't know if I live this. Nope. Man, I really threw this. I really threw this. Twisted Dimensions are back to normal. Um, go Tony. We... Do I bother taunting? I don't think so. I snarl and I roost. And we, we live. Okay. Dark pulse. Bullet punch. Okay. Man, that is an unfortunate, unfortunate loss right there. Um, Definitely the biggest losses that we've had in this playthrough. Because I think we only lost one Pokemon prior to this. Should have prepped more. Should have prepped more. May bring in another special wall rather than a physical wall with the Great Tusk. Would have been the better play. Let me just recap. Strawberry, Dummy, and Mill Tank. All done. Dummy is honestly potentially the biggest loss 
the Intimidate was so good. But I... We gotta pay the dues when we make the mistakes. Am I right? Culberberry ended up being the better option for the Solgaleo. If I had done that, I would have been better off, but so be it. Um, I guess now we're going to have some options. Let me put these guys on the team just to... Krikatoon can stay in that box, actually. I want to make some space in the box. Um... Okay, next up, we have two options of what we can do. We can either go down the route uh, with, like, the Sandstorm, and we can try to get through those battles, or we can start doing the rematches with uh, the first three gyms, um, Brock, Misty, and Surge. We have to rematch them all before being able to continue. Um, what would I rather do? Kanto rematches. What do you got? Great Tusk, Amistar, Sandslash, Tyranitar, Asuian Arcanine, and Mega Aerodactyl. Man, you know what would have been really good for this? Intimidate Backscalibur. <laughs> I mean, they have rock coverage on everything, so I guess it wouldn't have been great, but it would have been pretty good. Um, It's permanent Sandstorm, so I, which is like really stupid. But I do have Drizzle, so I could set up Weather immediately. Um, He does have Sand Stream again with Tyranitar. Do I, really, do I need to worry about the Sand being up? I mean, the Spideff boost is nice for them. And having Rain is obviously extremely good. Huh. Let's think about this because he has stealth rocks close combat headlong rush and knockoff so great tusk this has drizzle which is good what other weather stuff do i have um i think you have drizzle do i want drizzle with you do i want you in this battle i mean it could be good for the tyranitar honestly Mock Punch could be good. All right. We'll look at it. I'm going to, you know, look over this. Prep a team. And I think I'm going to do the Brock battle first. And we'll see if we can get through these uh, rematches all in the next episode. I'll try to prep everything off cam. Uh, these battles are extremely tough. This is about as far as I've ever get, I've ever gotten in these playthroughs. These rematches I've lost to. And that uh, route. I don't think I've gotten to Koga in the 4.0 update. Um, in the previous version, when I was playing this more... You know, doing more Nuzlocke stuff. I had gotten to Koga before. I got to the Elite Four. Uh, but with 4.0, I haven't gotten this far before. This is about where I lose. So I'm going to try to make sure I prep really well and get a good team together. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.